Hello everyone, Autumn Child here with my next new Let's Play. Nope, and it's not going to be Persona 3, it's actually saved right onto the memory card. We'll be playing Mimana Yara Chronicle. Now, before I get started, I have one quick question for you guys. Now that I do have my capture card running, do you guys want me to record the finale of Sonic Heroes with my capture card, or do you guys don't... I can't speak to save my life. Do you guys not mind the one I did with my camera? And if so, I can leave that up and then change the title, or I can record it from scratch with my capture card. Leave qu your answer in the comments, and please try to be nice. No rude comments, please. Thanks. Now, let's go. Mimana Ihara Chronicle is actually a very underappreciated game, and if you're a Tales of fan, you will enjoy it. It is created by... Yeah, I know that. <coughs> and I know that. Axis Games. Which also created Haku... Or, not created, Derp is licensed by Axis Games. Now, here is the main screen. I have actually beaten this game before, it's just on a different memory card. The reason I'm playing with this one is because once you beat the game, you unlock New Game Plus, and you play through New Game Plus. And pretty much it just gets rid of all the restrictions and gives you a special item that pretty much breaks the game. So, as you can see, we've only got new game, load game, and options. Well, I'll go into options first. This is all that's in the options. Your background music, your sound effects, and your voice. Now, speaking of which, I should mention, everything... It, ugh, not everything. Every cutscene in this game, except for one that I have noticed, is voiced. So, I, you'll get to enjoy a bunch of different voice actors. Anyway, let's go. Think of it always. The sacred blue star shining in the sky above us. I heard once that all across its surface, life blossoms and grows everywhere. Someday, I would like to go there myself. I would like to feel its fresh air upon my skin. Someday, I will. I... I am a priestess of Alto. Thousands of years have passed, and this is all I can do. I can only watch and pray, and wait for the time... the time when you awake in the blue and abundant land of ER, and call out to me. So please, let my words reach you, my feelings, my song, let them reach you in your slumber.
And there's the intro. Grace, you rascal. I figured I'd find you here. Come on, let's go. Time for me to turn those losses around. Let's have it. Show those cards. Oh, piss off. You wanna play? You gotta pay. By the way, as far as I know, this game is rated T for teen. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you got the best hand in the world, but it doesn't matter without the money. Ain't that right, Mr. Grace? <laughs> what a joke! Can't even afford this low of a buy-in. <laughs> Looks like the Mercenaries Guild's greatest swordsman has hit rock bottom. Ah, damn it! Hey, Grace! We got work! W-O-R-K work! What are you doing here? What the hell does the Mercenaries Guild want with me? I'm busy, pal. Bugger off. Is that any way to greet a friend? All I wanted to do was tell you about a job offer, but... What? A job offer? For me? Yeah, well, God knows why, but they asked for you, specifically. They asked? Then they must have paid in advance. Give me the money, now! Yes, there's your damn buy-in, jackass. Not so confident now, are you? Read them and weep, boys. No problem, Chen. Take a look. Black King, Red King, Blue King. Black, Red, and Blue Queens. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing the weeping. No way! <laughs> Sorry, Crazy. Now get out of here, you bum! You... you cheated! What the hell did you just say to me? Hey there, Mr. Crace. You forgot the rules of the Mercenaries Guild already? Really? It's your fault for not catching a cheater in the first place. But hey, it's not like we got to cheat to fleece a chump like you. So, if that's the last of your money, I think it's time you got out of that chair. The guild's waiting for you, right? Oops, I kind of went fast on that. Anyways, now we can walk around. Uh, as you can guess, Kreis is our main character. Pretty much, here's our stats screen. Let's go to stats. Kreis Sewell. Level 1. Uh, pretty much it for now. As you can guess, he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> well, hello, Max. My kitty wants attention. Anyways, we could talk to everyone in here, but for now, if we want to advance the story, we talk to him. All right. Let's uh, go meet your client. <laughs> well, you already got your down payment. I think you know what comes next. Oops, I did it again. Sorry, I'm not really paying attention today. So, if we want to talk around with everyone still, we hit no, I'm still blah blah blah. But, we'll be going on ahead. Fine, take me to the client. Fine, let's get this over with. I know I'll have guild goons all over my ass the moment I break that contract. So don't you worry your pretty little head. Give me money, I'll do my job. Alright then, this way. Your client's waiting for you. Now get the hell out of here! The song. What a beautiful voice. Brings back some bad memories. What? Huh? You say something? No, nothing. Nah. 
Marcus. Thanks for the beautiful song. <laughs> Not even festival season yet. We already got this kid troubadour. Oh, that kid you're talking about is the girl who hired you. What? This has got to be a joke. That kid hiring me? <laughs> That's a laugh. Hey, ma'am. Good timing. I tracked him down for you. <laughs> this is the spell sword you asked for. Crace Sewell. Nice to meet you. You can't be serious. All right. You're just gonna have to ask Sophie here for the details. Don't screw this up, Chris. Whoa, who said I'm doing this? Who take a job from a kid? Ralph, buddy, pal, you of all people should know how much I hate kids. So what? You took her advance quick enough. Kid or not, she paid for you. Now man up and do your job. What, too much for you? Fine. Give the girl her money back. Go back to being unemployed, loser. Damn. Well, uh, I can't really do that. Well, if you can't give her money back, then give the girl what she paid for. Kid. Yes? Looks like I don't have a choice here. I'm taking your job. But I hate kids. You hired me fair and square, but don't think that means I'm gonna be some kind of kiss-ass. Got it? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Sewell. <sighs> so, um, what is it you want me to do? Well, I'm looking for seven gems that are hidden throughout Floral Moss. I need you to be my bodyguard, Mr. Sewell, until I found all of the gems. So a treasure hunt, huh? Well, you paid for me. I'm yours. Where are we gonna start? Well, I was thinking, perhaps we could start with the coastal cave. The coastal cave? Huh. You mean that little hole east of Krupp Coast? I'm sorry. I know of the name, but I don't know where it is. Whatever. As long as I get paid, I could care less. The Krupp Coast is gonna be southwest from the West Gate. Come on, kid. Let's go. Okay. And Sophie joins the party. Mm, that's pretty much our intro. So we can take a look at her. her Sophie Rothorn. Isn't she cute? Now, since I've been playing for so long, I am gonna stop here. That way I have a nice 15 minute intro. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Mimana ER Chronicle. This is Autumn Child saying, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>